welcome back to another video. I am here with my little girl. Uh, she is ready for a nap and is not going to do it on her own, and she has told me that. <laughs> so I brought her with me today to talk about um, vitamin D while breastfeeding. Um, and probably I'll throw in some a few tips while pregnant as well, um, just because they are very similar, although it's slightly different um, if you are exclusively breastfeeding. So first of all, the importance of vitamin D is um, just, it's super important. <laughs> um, it not only is good for building uh, strong bones and teeth, um, but research is finding more and more and more about its importance. One of those things actually being with mental health. Um, and you know, if you, they, they call it the sunshine vitamin. And the reason for that is it can play um, a, a big role in how you are feeling um, in terms of kind of happiness, right? And so when you are stuck inside for a really long time and you're not getting out into the sunshine to get that natural vitamin D, you tend to feel a little bit more lethargic, a little bit more just kind of down in the dumps. And, um, you know, we're finding that it's the vitamin D, not only the sunshine, but specifically the, the benefit from the sunshine, which is your body creating vitamin D. Um, and as I mentioned, the second part of that is for strong bones and teeth. And then there's a lot of other things um, that we haven't gotten too much research on, um, but it's, it's, you know, we're finding more and more every day. Um, but right now we're going to focus on the strong bones and teeth because that is what is most important for the babies. So um, while you're pregnant, obviously vitamin D, as I've mentioned in some previous videos, which I will link right up here, um, is super important because your baby's growing, right? You are literally growing the bones um, in your body in order for your baby to grow and develop. And so making sure you have adequate vitamin D, um, which is a little bit different for everyone, depending on your, um, if you're deficient already, uh, but typically around um, a thousand IUs, international units is, is pretty common um, for the average person um, in terms of supplementation. Um, so check your prenatal for that. Um, and if you need a little bit more, you know, consider adding an extra supplement as well. But of course, be sure to talk to your doctor. Um, actually, before I get going any further, I'm gonna introduce myself. I'm Kathy Brown, a registered dietitian, yoga teacher, and a mom. And uh, so, yeah, and I, and I share my, my knowledge here on YouTube with pregnancy and breastfeeding, um, specifically because that is a big area of interest of mine and um, I have been going through it and am currently going through it right now. So um, I share my not only my, my knowledge through uh, research and education, but also my practical experience in terms of you know breastfeeding and growing my own baby. So that being said, um, once your baby is born, if you are choosing or need to formula feed, uh, formula is already supplemented with vitamin D, so you most likely won't have to take uh, give your baby an extra supplement, but be sure to check your formula um, ingredients just to make sure that there is enough um, or that it is in there. But formula is highly regulated, um, so it most likely will be. Again, just check to make sure. If your baby is exclusively breastfed, so no formula at all, um, it is very important that you give them a supplement of 400 international units a day. Uh, that is the current recommendation for um, all babies who are exclusively breastfed um, from starting at birth. Um, and the reason for that is because uh, vitamin D is not um, very well received in breast milk. Um, our bodies create it through skin absorption and it doesn't really get into breast milk all that much. 
um, because all the things that get into breast milk come from your bloodstream and vitamin D is not uh, created or uh, sent throughout your body through the bloodstream, it is in your skin. Um, so that, uh, so yeah, so um, 400 I use for babies who are exclusively breastfed. Um, we use a little, um, a liquid, it's a, a little dropper and you can do it in a lot of different ways. Um, two ways that I personally have found most effective are um, either dropping it uh, right onto the breast before feeding um, or during feeding. Um, and then that way it just kind of goes right in their mouth. Or the second option that I've been liking a little bit more recently, especially um, if your baby's starting to teethe or um, just so that you can get um, them used to your finger going into their mouth for brushing their teeth, um, is to put a drop of the vitamin D on your finger and just kind of wipe it across their gums and on their tongue. Um, and as I mentioned, just make sure you have a clean, 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 clean hand. But um, the benefit of that is for when their teeth start coming in, they're already, already going to be used to you um, putting something in their mouth to brush their teeth. Um, so that could be a little bit of a benefit there. Um, just a couple of things to keep in mind. Um, the reason it's important for vitamin D supplementation is baby skin is very, very sensitive and they should not be getting any direct sunlight. Um, they can easily burn and all that stuff and we just, we don't want them in the direct sunlight. Um, and also if they don't get enough vitamin D, um, a terrible thing called rickets can happen and that's where their bones are really, really soft and they don't form properly. Um, and so they end up, um, kids with rickets end up having um, lots of crutches and casts and easily broken bones and all of that. It's, it's not nothing too, uh, too great. Um, so definitely if you're exclusively breastfeeding again, supplement uh, with vitamin D. So that is all I have for you for today. Um, I am keeping a playlist of all these different videos and I've so far done one on iron and now vitamin D. Um, things to come will include, oh gosh, uh, we'll talk a little bit about B12, we'll talk about protein, um, calcium's another big one, um, but if there's any specific topic that you would like to talk about um, related to the nutrition of your baby, either during pregnancy, infancy, or even going into starting solids, and having picky ears and all that kind of stuff. Um, I have some of that lined up for in the future, but I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into these um, new life kind of vitamins that are really important. So uh, let me know in the comments below if there's anything specific that you'd like to talk about. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit subscribe um, so that you can see all of the, uh, the videos coming in the future and you can see more of this, this little cutie who is now officially asleep. My voice put her to sleep, that's perfect. So I will um, see you all later and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.